is knocking at the door of the little lamb's house. I hope they don't open the door. The Wolf and the Seven Little Lambs. In a cozy house deep in the forest, there lived a mother sheep and her seven little lambs. One day, the mother sheep went to the market to buy some groceries. But she was worried about leaving the baby lambs all by themselves. Dear children, take good care of the house while I'm gone. If the wolf comes, you should never open the door. You will know him at once by his rough voice and his black paws. Yes, Mommy, we'll be careful. After telling the baby lambs to be careful several times, the mother sheep went on her way. Behave yourselves while I'm gone. Don't fight and take care of each other. Don't worry, Mommy. Goodbye, Mommy. Bye, Mommy. But it was not long before the wolf appeared. His mouth was drooling as he watched the baby lambs saying goodbye to their mother. When the mother sheep disappeared out of sight, the wolf knocked at the door of the little lamb's house. He made his voice soft like the mother sheep's and called out to the baby lambs. Dear children, your mother is home. Come and open the door at once. No, no. Our mommy's voice is not so rough. Our mommy has a soft and pleasant voice. The little lambs did not open the door. So the wolf swallowed a raw egg and made his voice soft. In a much softer voice, he called out again to the little lambs to open the door. This time, the little lambs asked the wolf to show them his paw. The wolf pushed his paw in through the crack in the door. Children, please open the door. The wolf's paw was covered with coarse black hair. He also had very sharp claws. The lambs jumped up in amazement. Our mommy's foot is not so black. You are not our mommy. You're the big bad wolf. The wolf ran to the mill and covered his paws with white flour. Then he ran back to the little lamb's house. It's me, my darlings. Open the door for me. I have brought back delicious treats for all of you. The paws are white! It's Mommy! Mommy's back! Let's open the door! When the little lambs opened the door, the wolf sprang into the house. Stop right there, you rascals! Terrified, the little lambs scattered and tried to hide themselves. All the little lambs ran around the house in great confusion, trying to hide from the scary wolf. The seventh, who is also the youngest and the smallest of them all, hid herself in the clock case. Save me! It's a One by one, the wolf found the little lambs and swallowed them in one big gulp. Only the youngest one was hidden away in the clock case. I must have 
eaten them all. Now that my stomach is full, I guess I will go and take a nap. With his belly full of little lambs, the wolf staggered out of the house. Soon afterwards, the mother sheep returned home from the market. Oh, but what did she see? The house was in a mess, and her children were nowhere to be found. Right then, the youngest lamb called out to her mother from inside the clock case. My baby! What happened here? Where are your brothers and sisters? The youngest lamb told her mother about the wolf. It was the wolf! He came and ate all the others! I was so scared that I hid in the clock case and didn't move an inch until you came! <laughs> The wolf ate my babies! Oh, my poor darlings! The mother sheep cried, thinking of her poor little lambs. The mother sheep ran out crying for her little lambs. But when she reached the river, she found the wolf napping underneath the tree. The wolf was sleeping in the cool shade, snoring very loudly. Mommy, Mommy, there's the mean wolf that ate my brothers and sisters. Yes, there he is. Let's hurry over there. As she got closer, the mother sheep could see something wriggling around in the wolf's belly. It was the baby lambs moving inside the wolf. Mommy, Mommy! My brothers and sisters must still be alive! Little one, run to the house and fetch scissors, a needle, and some thread. Hurry, hurry! The mother sheep decided to cut open the wolf's belly and take out her children. The wolf, in his greediness, had swallowed the little lambs down in whole. So the little lambs were still alive. The mother sheep cut open the wolf's stomach with the scissors. Snip, snap! The little lambs jumped out, one after the other. Mommy! Are you all right? We were alive! Thank you, Mommy! Six little lambs jumped out of the wolf's stomach without a scratch. While this was going on, the wolf did not wake up and was still sleeping heavily. The mother sheep told the little lambs to gather some stones. She filled the wolf's stomach with the stones and sewed him up again with a needle and thread. Mommy, be careful! Watch and see if the wolf wakes up. After the mother sheep finished sewing, she and her baby lambs hid behind a tree. Soon the wolf woke up and waddled over to the riverside to get a drink of water. The stones inside the wolf's belly knocked against each other and rattled. This is very strange. Why is my stomach so heavy? Oh no! Help! Help! The wolf sank to the bottom of the river because of the heavy stones in his stomach. The mother sheep and the little lambs danced for joy. Now the mother sheep and the baby lambs can live 
without worrying about the big bad wolf. Thank goodness! 